Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week, our staff of educators tries to introduce you to a person of interest in the financial world. This could be a person in government or banking, or an important investor or trader. With Amazon remaining in the headlines, one of the most talked about persons in finance is Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. Amazon.com Inc. CEO Jeff Bezos did something recently that he hasn't since 2010. He ensured investors that his company would make a profit in its busy holiday shopping season. Amazon has a History of wide-ranging forecasts, one billion wide, on earnings that straddle the line between making money and losing cash. The e-commerce giant sells goods online, builds tablets for reading e-books, makes original movies, delivers food from restaurants, and operates data centers used by Netflix Inc. and Pinterest Inc. Jeff Bezos has become America's third richest person. The 51-year-old founder of Amazon.com Inc. added 2.9 billion to his fortune Friday, as the online retailer rose more than $35 and pushed his net worth to 53.2 billion, according to Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Bezos' fortune has jumped 86% in 2015, as investors have cheered profits at Amazon and growth in its cloud segment. The 24.6 billion year-to-date increase is the most of anyone on the index, and almost equal to the combined gain. Of Facebook Inc.'s Mark Zuckerberg and Google founder Larry Page and Sergey Brin, Amazon shares surged above $600 in after-hours trading Thursday and closed at $599.03 Friday. The increase makes him the fifth richest person on earth, up from the number 20 spot on January 1st. Jeff Bezos was born on January the 12th, 1964, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Bezos had an early love of computers and studied computer science and electrical engineering at Princeton University. After graduation, he worked on Wall Street, and in 1990 became the youngest senior vice president at the investment firm D.E. Shaw. Four years later, he quit his lucrative job to open Amazon.com, a virtual bookstore that became one of the internet's biggest success stories. In 2013, Bezos made headlines when he purchased the Washington Post in a 200. $150 million deal. While his career in finance was extremely lucrative, Bezos chose to make a risky move into the world of e-commerce. He quit his job in 1994, moved to Seattle, and targeted the untapped potential of the internet market by opening an online bookstore. The initial success of the company was meteoric. With no press promotion, Amazon.com sold books across the United States and in 45 foreign countries within 30 days. In two months, sales reached $20,000 a week, growing faster than Bezos and his startup team had envisioned. Amazon.com went public in 1997, and many market analysts questioned whether the company could hold its own when traditional retailers launched their own e-commerce sites. 